Hey guys, how is it going? So a couple of you guys asked me about my Bullfrog loadout. I want to get into that in a second. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more content like this basically every day. But let's take a look at my Bullfrog loadout and compare that to kind of the run-of-the-mill MP5 from Cold War. So taking a look at the true game data chart, what we notice is the MP5 just cannot compete with the Bullfrog unless you're within like 9 meters. But even at that point, a shotgun is going to rock your world. So, I mean, do with that what you will. But, I mean, we look at sprint fire times, and then, obviously, they still have the same advantage. But, out until about 15 meters, the bullfrog can just rip. And then, when we consider headshots, the bullfrog just walks away with it. That's not even really a comparison. And it's not like the MP5 is better, really, in any way. Take a look at this first build, which is basically moved around movement. The second build is what people actually run. It's comparing my build for the mp5 versus the standard build for the mp5 i only lose about three meters on my effective range but i gain quite a bit of movement speed as the trade-off for that but even at that the bullfrog it's not really that much slower in basically any way and it ads is faster and it sprint to fires faster and it tax sprints faster and it has a smaller hip fire and it has faster bullet velocity and it reloads faster and it doesn't need a magazine attachment to hit 50 rounds like, there are just so many reasons to use the Bullfrog over the MP5, it's ridiculous. But take a look at the recoil pattern between my MP5 and the Bullfrog, and you'll notice that my MP5 is super controllable um, versus the Bullfrog, which has got some kind of wildness to it. But once you get good with the Bullfrog, it's it absolutely rips. But that said, a lot of people still prefer the MP5 because there's the ability to control the gun and hate your shots. They both have an extremely fast TTK, so it's not like you're going to be, you know, uh, shooting yourself in the foot by using either gun. Personally, out of these two guns, I actually prefer the MP5, but I'm starting to lean more and more towards the Bullfrog the more I use it. It's just one of those guns that it takes a minute to get used to, but once you do, it's hard to go back to anything else. But essentially, guys, here's my loadout. I'm using the Tiger Team Spotlight, the 7.4-inch Task Force Barrel, Sound Suppressor, Bruiser Grip, and the Gru Elastic Wrap. As far as my MP5, I'm running the Sound Suppressor, the 50-round Drum, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, Striker Grip, and the Tiger Team Spotlight. But if you feel like sticking around, I've got quite a bit of gameplay to show you guys. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you around.